Hello guys, this is Danny from CAI 3D and today I'll show you some basics in V-Ray. So let's begin. Let's start with the render settings, general V-Ray bridge, GI, GI on and very fast. Okay, now let's create our room. Create a cube, make it editable, delete one wall now scale it up something like oh wait a second here something like this okay it should be fine now let's create our sphere in the segments put something like I don't know maybe 60 move it ok now let's create the light create infinite light which is the best light for sun create a vira bridge tag vira light in the common tab enable shadows in sunlight Let's enable physical sun, physical sky, and here put something like seven, 70. Okay, now click on the light, cameras, link active object. And now actually our view is from the light, so we want our light to be something about here. Okay. Now create a camera. Let's place it. Yeah. Okay. Open the render settings in the output. Put the width to this and this. Okay. Now create a physical camera tag for the camera in the film I saw let's put uh, 300 and the shutter speed 600 ok make the sphere editable and now let's do a test render ok you can see it's too bright so let's first of all scale down our sphere okay okay now the shutter speed let's rise it to 1000 Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, but let's move our light a little bit. Now it should be better. Here. Okay. So let's do a quick material for for the walls. Vira bridge, via advanced material. Now, duplicate it by hitting, holding control. Here. Let's load our texture map. Copy it to the bump. In the bump amount, let's uh, say negative 05. Turn on the specular. Okay. Select the floor. Now you can see it's, it's uh, like spherical, so 
we'll click on the material in the projection we we'll select cubic okay but let's here. now scale it up something like this and select the camera tag cinema 4d tags and select the protection so we want to move by mistake the camera you see now we can't move it okay now duplicate and the diffuse the color something like this let's do a little reflection okay the texture map select Fresnel here we go now you can see in the middle it's reflective but here it's not okay now select our cube hit K for the knife select loop hit control shift A to deselect all now let's do a cut around here hit UL for the loop selection select this D for the extrude and extrude it now hit UI oh sorry UI to grow to grow our selection and let's put our material okay now let's create the material for the sphere in the diffuse let's, uh, in, let's select 80% uh, gray now turn on the specular and the bump in the bump let's load our texture minus 05 let's do it more reflective so let's say something like this not too much let's try it yeah it looks good okay now let's do let's do a test render Okay, it looks fine, but uh, I think the bump is too much, so let's put here something like minus oh, 25. Yeah, now it's good. Okay, for the final render go to Vera Bridge GI and the GI presets select high and now we'll render this it's going to take some time so I stop the record and I'll see you when uh, the render is finished and here we go the final or final render thank you for watching I was Danny from CAI3D, goodbye.